Hi friends, in this section we will study and we will check that which drawing sheets we gonna study. So first of all we will start with the cover sheet that we are checking now. Then we will check the list of contents. This is the list of content uh, which is showing all the drawing sheets. You can see here the sheet numbers from 1 to 101 and this is the gra gra drawing title 1 and 2. Gra drawing title 1 is defining here is 132 kb line whereas uh, drawing title 2 is defining here control panel then we have uh, drawing title number 3 which is defining the sheet actually is we have general characteristics uh, sheet and in this sheet we will study the general characteristics then we have symbols and legends then we have a single line diagram that we will study. So let's see general characteristics. Uh, these are basically the sheet for general characteristics that we will study. And this sheet is defining which type of protection, which type of equipment is used, how many alarm and indication windows we have, and what is the type of windows, supply auxiliaries, wiring we use. So we will describe these. Next we will study the symbols, then we will check in detail uh, about the single line diagram, uh, about this control panel, then we will further study the list of operators uh, in detail which is defining that uh, each equipment used in the control panel you can find the detail here like description, schematics, quantity etc. Then we will see the AC distribution sheet. Further, we will move to DC distribution. So, this is the DC distribution. Then we have uh, DC fail indication, DC supervision. Further, we will study the next sheet, which is open and close uh, circuit. Uh, that we will study in detail that how this this works. This is the discrepancy switch that I was explaining you in the presentation here you can see the open and close commands are being issued for the circuit breaker for the isolator discrepancy switch for the line isolators and for the switch for one to kv art switch so I will be explaining why it's called discrepancy. What is the meaning of discrepancy here? So here you can see the control panel discrepancy switch for the other switches. We will study the, how this control circuit is working. Further, we will see uh, how the integration is working. Here you can find the different signals coming from. LCC and how these are giving indication at the control panel. So you have symbols, signals from circuit breaker, isolator, earth switches, etc. So we will uh, study and then how this circuit is working. Here you can see we have a selector switch S9. In the next, uh, we have remote position indication we have K50 which is the flicker relay because all the discrepancy switches mm, the light is being on and off with a certain uh, frequency with certain time settings so this flicker relay control it so I will be explaining you how this flicker circuit is working in the control panel Next sheet is remote position indication. Okay, the remote position indication is basically showing the indication of various components. So we have indication of uh, uh, S1 switch, S9 switch, S51, S8, and S53. So if we go to single line diagram, maybe you can see the detail of these items okay so here you can see we have the breaker 
q1 q51 q0 q9 and q8 so accordingly these are named with s here So these are different lamps showing different indication. We will study this one in detail. Next, we will check the interlocking circuit and bus bar, PT, MCB trip circuit. So this is uh, defining an interlock circuit. So in short, if there is a interlock uh, or closed block operated, you will not be able to close the breaker from remote control panel. So we will check this uh, circuit how it works in detail. Next sheet that we will study here is about the annunciator CP30. Different annunciations are coming to control panel. These are available in the control panel display because operator has to check these indications continuously and if the operator finds some abnormal alarm it has to take the action accordingly for example if the ac supply fails this light will glow so we will be discussing uh, in detail uh, how these indications are coming here for example if line mcb uh, trips you will get this indication which is coming at in7 further we will study uh, trip circuit uh, annunciator 2 so here we have more indication like switch on to fault trip, uh, fiber optic uh, channel faulty, then we have uh, TD or current earth fault, high set or current earth fault indication. Basically this control production panel is for uh, 132 kV line production. So indications are coming from the line production which is distance relay, line differential relay and the old fan relay. Because it's a line production, so you can find here also the PLC carrier faulty signal. So if the carrier system is faulty, the relay will know and it will no longer consider carrier send um, and carrier receive input. So we have uh, DDT send and basically in this case, DDT send uh, from stage 2 of breaker failure. I have also courses uh, separately available. Now if you see my profile for 132 kV line production, transformer production, uh, we have courses about the breaker fill and bus bar production. If you like to study in detail, you can subscribe to these courses to increase your knowledge. Further, we will check uh, the next sheet with AC annunciator. So in, in the control panel, uh, basically there are two annunciators installed. One is called AC annunciator, another one is DC annunciator. So for example, if AC supply fails, the indication will be coming through DC annunciator. And if some DC supplies fail, the indication will still be available. So there will be two type of annunciators. Further, we have CV hydraulic pump indications and uh, some CVSS script lockout. So there are more uh, signals. These signals are going to SCADA, which is a remote operation at the remote location not in the substation here we will see the metering circuit this is basically a metering circuit you can see the sheet number and here you can see that uh, this is the CT we will be explaining you this uh, circuit so this is the ratio defining here current is coming here passing through first uh, U1, U2, U3 which are basically the voltmeters uh, transducers, you can, you can see these are the, with transducers and these are the ammeters matching the current and also transducer is installed the transducer is sending the current in the form of uh, DC milliamps to SCADA for analog uh, me measurements and here you can see after that they have installed a voltmeter here downside this is a VT circuit coming to the voltmeter then we have a digital power meter 
so I will be explaining this all in detail further in the next sheet we will study about supervision lamps we have uh, in our scheme uh, trip circuit uh, two trip coils trip coil one and two and we have installed uh, trip circuit uh, one healthy and two healthy supervision relays so if this uh, uh, supervision lamps if the lamps are off it means that the trip circuit is not healthy and we need to take the immediate action after that uh, you will see device details like in production panel drawings at the end you will find device details in the control panel also you can find the device details and here first detail is I, this is related to control discrepancy switch S is not S1, S8, S9, S1 and S53 these are different and I will explaining this in detail then we have a test block detail so if I want to find where this 50 and 16 number contact is used I can go to the sheet numbers for example the user 30.2 uh, when it is related to S0 and with S1 it is at 30.3 so on so I will be explaining you in detail that how this how you can break uh, different components and different connections in the drawing so then we have auxiliary relays you can find it normally open and normally close contacts these both are normally open 5 and 3 are normally closed and 1 and 3 is normally open contact in this so all the relays are available here which are used in the drawing which is from K7 to K30 so the coil of these relays energize if you want to see how these relays picked up you can see this column Similarly, there are four contacts. Which contact are used? You can see here. These are the sheet number. For example, K7, the coil is picked up by 21.4 and it has three contacts which are configured. So you can use this, these contacts. Further, if you go to the next sheet, You can find here front view. So this is how our control panel look like. So I will be explaining you in detail. We have seen these components. These are the indication windows, and these are the selector switches. These are basically the discrepancy switches that we are discussing now. This is one to give us far. These are basically uh, test. Uh, sockets each component detail you can find here the test block test block x81 that we have recently discussed so we will discuss this sheet, uh, sheet in detail then we have a rear view so the access for the panel is from rear you can open the door and you can access this uh, panel terminal uh, from inside from the rear entry so all the details are also available where the terminal blocks are installed where is the PVC duct is installed and which components are installed where so these are basically all about the drawing that we are going to study together so this is the drawing which is related to 132 kV line production control panel so if you have a good understanding of this drawing, you will be able to understand all the control panel drawings. The concept is more or less same. So I will encourage you to subscribe and enroll in the training. Thank you.